Oh, they're gonna have yours off. The laptop hard drive finally died. <laughs> I don't know, just a, uh, sort of uh, expecting it to die. I put about 250, uh, 230 gigabytes of data on there. Stuff I've already got backed up anyway. So, you see how it would go. As test, I'm gonna call it a test data, test write and test read. But it's good for a bit. I had to start to not read it back. I couldn't um, read it anymore. So yeah, shitty hard drive. It dumped. So I decided to put a case off and um, do an open case run, see the head move. Since uh, everything on that, this hard drive is backed up anyway, eh, no big loss. It was bound to die anyway, so let's do it again now. Yeah, it's gone. No health programs that have health either. We can't even get smart data off it. It's dead, Jim. The old CTA here, good old CTA. <laughs> it's getting a good uh, HDD regenerate. Have I done this drive before? Still got 25 bad seconds from when I got it. That was out of our old uh, XP, old XP computer. Um, first computer. Yeah. Not working. Let's give it up to ghost now. Still spinning. Not clicking. Can't get no reading off it. This is one of those um, low profile Seagate 500 gigabyte drives. It's about half the thickness of a regular desktop hard drive. It's quite unusual how Seagate released them like that. Yeah, oh well, I'll put a good new hard drive in this and um, probably give this enclosure to my sister. She wants one, so that's why I bought this enclosure. I cannot find any of these enclosures that fit a two terabyte hard drive there. That's the problem. It's only one, uh, that one, but no one for their two terabyte Western Digital hard drives because the, um, the two terabyte Western Digitals are um, twice as thick as a normal hard, uh, laptop hard drive. I've also noticed on uh, YouTube, half when people come out in my videos, yeah, not good. So it's been a bit of half, oh, three or four days. What the hell is going on here? I'm not getting any activity in my videos. Checking my emails, checking my emails. And sure enough, I just logged into YouTube as of yesterday. And there they all are in here, in the menu. So yeah, there's a bit of a brokenness between uh, Microsoft Outlook and uh, YouTube at the moment. I don't, use, I don't really use uh, Google or Mail or Gmail. I'm just using Hotmail, which is what I started, what I started with, so I just stuck with that. It's the first time it's actually done that in ages. It's normally pretty good. I'm gonna pull this thing apart for you, so, um, yeah, let's plug it into an iPod char iPhone charger. I can at least run it. I'm gonna pull this hard drive apart and do some tests. How much torque does a hard drive motor have? And can the logic actually um, put up with me loading up the motor on the spindle, the disc spindle motor, to let it shutting off for some sort of protection? Some hard drivers won't like it. Some hard drives will keep spinning if I stop the motor by hand and it will start up again. Let's see how this hard drive reacts to that. And, uh, not all of you would know, but many of us would know. Um, if you don't know, the laptop hard drives, the discs are made of glass, coated with platinum. Desktop hard drives are aluminium, coated with platinum. From my experience, the aluminium ones are a lot susceptible to scratching than the uh, laptop hard drives. So, could say, it's not 100% true though, that a head crash on a desktop drive would definitely scratch the um, disk surface than on a um, laptop hard drive because they're a lot harder to scratch is it? because I mean, they're made of glass. So let's get a precision set of uh, uh, bits set out. I don't, I'm going to use this because, um, yeah, scoring that straight in there, i got to press on the screen, it just goes right in. There no big loss, as I said, all the data on this hard drive was backed up anyway, so... So I don't really care. Everything's already backed up on this hard drive. Had a heap of videos and stuff on here. Fill it up and see how it reacted. And yeah, it worked alright. I read them alright with the videos alright. I could play a couple of them back, then I started having reading issues. So the read head problem on this drive. 
So yeah, parks are heads. On this little um, head parking bay here. The Samsung, uh, the Samsung when I put apart the head just rested like that on the disc. Got a, quite a big fingerprint on there, and you can see the head's hit it. There you go, the head's on there. Now, having 241 bad sectors, it's got 500 giga, 250 gigabytes. In 488 billion, 397 million, 498 million, 397,168 sectors. So out of 488 million sectors, only 250 of them are bad. It's quite a small number. But for what it was doing, yeah, it wasn't going to last too much longer. The health calculations, according to Aquinas, it dropped um, almost bloody 90% health. So Also, when you, um, with laptop hard drives, don't press on these top covers. Because that's only a millimetre between that and this motor. So you press on that, hits this, and stops the motor. So yes, for Coon Dog the Man, I'm going to make this into a, into a little speaker. A little uh, catching thing there, that goes in there like that. It pulls in. What holds that in? The magnet pulls in, and that catches in there, but it won't say the magnet repels it, and stops the head from going out. What holds that in there like that? So it doesn't stay, it repels in the magnet. Well, that's the with the factory. It holds like that when I put the discs on. Interesting. What, um... So if I hold that with something, it's locked. It can't go. Interesting. Now, I've got to find a pin out on this. I want to pull that board off, and get a small battery, and just, uh... Touch each one of these pins so this head moves backwards and forwards to find which ones are the voice calls to actuate the head. So I'll do a little bit of a speaker experiment, then they're going to turn the bass up stupidly, and this coil should smoke up and melt in no time. So it's not a very powerful coil, can't put much wattage through that. This little thing is interesting though, how is that actually? It doesn't do anything when a drive operates normally. That doesn't do anything. But when I move it by hand, it wants to stop it. Interesting. I never really realised that. Alright, let's plug it in and run it. Alright, let's run this thing. Now, it's not good to run. Normally, you wouldn't use to a good hard drive because there's no air um, being directed around that disc properly and the head will hit the disc. Oh, the lock's gone. Try and scratch it. Doesn't scratch. There we go. It starts itself. Killing. Oh, what are that? Oh. Whoa, I found out the friction part. That wiped a few sectors off to the disc surface, didn't it? <laughs> That's what it's doing there. That torque's not too bad. Just wanna... See? Start, it's trying to... There's like a little hole sensor in there. Try as a start, at least set it. There we go. Starts back up. Just amazing how cool the amount of research and development they went to making these hard drives and how small they've become. Now I've got a damaged bit here. Uh, there it is. Uh, where am I? Taking the heart of a part initially, I damaged my bit in that one. I stripped the end of it. I'm going to grind it down, just using the friction of the glass surface itself to uh, fix this bit up. So I found a soft friction spot somewhere. There we go, there goes a bunch of sectors. I've scratched the other surface off the disc.
There we go. Give the heads a good clean, eh? Scratching some data, oh, data off the surface. Now all 488 million sectors are bad. <laughs> crunchy, crunchy. All right, I'm gonna try something. Now I've got the bit to fit that motor in there and I'm gonna hold that. Is there enough torque to spin this screwdriver at a 5900 RPM rate? Yes, it does. Whoa! Don't damage that board. <laughs> that was epic though. I don't want to come out of enclosure. Because I'm going to put a new hard drive in there. Oh, let's take that disc off. <laughs> oh, I want to press on the... Um, uh, the don't want to press on the glass disc too hard and break it. First laptop hard driver had to did that, thinking it was aluminium that would bend, and it goes snapped in my fingers and cut my finger. All right, let's start with a disc loosely on there. Friction? Oh, did my that. Here we go. I loosely made a disc. Nah, didn't like that. I'll get that disc off. I'll get that disc out of there and we run it with no load on that motor at all. There we go. Hmm. How is it not, there's no disc on that? How does it know that? It doesn't know that. How does that know? It's off a disc when it starts. Okay. Doesn't want to run with a disc. No much talk to that. It's quiet. The bearings are obviously good. There we go. Interesting. I might run without the head. Out of disc. Um, ah, casing's in the way. There we go. Put it back on upside down. Now yeah, it's put it back on there, yeah? Got no um, comb back, put that comb thing back on. And that guides the head back onto the disc. Well, this CTA Seagate 500 gigabyte low profile drive is not going to get any worse than that. 25 bad sectors out of, what was it? 976 million. Yeah, that's a pretty small number. But nothing wrong. It couldn't uh, find anything bad, so it's not reallocating, not reallocating any more sectors. So I think it's alright. For a Chinese made hard drive, that's pretty good. But yes, yeah, so always keep backups of everything. Here we are. Turn that off. Oh, I've got to close that. Oh, right, I've um, upon positioning the comb, head comb guide back on the uh, disc snapped, shattered a little bit. Or should I say, definitely glass as you can see. It's got magnetic platinum coated onto it. Now, probably not a good idea to run this. I'm gonna put the cover back on this in case that goes boof, explodes. Put this guide back on. Yeah, it's a head guard in the right spot. And I'll put this back on and I'll uh, run the drive and see what it does. It's going to be pretty unbalanced. It's going to hit the heads. So yeah. 
It's gonna go bang, rip the heads off. It's gonna be pretty dangerous. About 50 gigabytes of data on that, probably. Let's see if it does it. We'll have enough torque to even start. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Won't get a run up. Yeah, very dangerous. Yikes! Look at that! Put it together and just leave it like that. And they go by to prank someone. <laughs> oh, I'll try again. Let's see if it's in the right spot. Oh, yeah, crap. The head still wants it. Clear it. Oh, there we go. The head got caught. Oh, good massager. That's like a strong mobile phone vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> that is epic. I'm going to put that back together as it is. <laughs> going to prank someone? <laughs> oh, that is epic. That's a good massager. Let's see if it still um, starts all right now. Yep. <laughs> you want to prank someone to see that? <laughs> okay, let me cut myself. <laughs> Epic. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that's a good massage, actually. Ooh, nice. Consistent. Consistent vibrate. <laughs> yeah, if your hard drive is vibrating like that and grinding, you got problems. Bit of gyroscopic. There you go. Got an external drive for you, mate. Got some movies on there for you. Copy them on there for you. If you've got some movies for a He goes to plug it into his computer and this happens. <laughs> oh, that is epic. <laughs> oh, that is epic. Yeah, those red white heads are gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is epic. Always make sure your hard drive is put together tightly too. And shielded. In case the rest of it does decide to go k k smash and shatter. Because that would go deep and penetrate you if it shattered. That's interesting. The glass. How do they get the platinum to stick onto the glass? The glass is a lot more precise. They can get it a lot more precise than aluminium. Anyway, I got a prank, a prank one. <laughs> That's a first, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching.